This video is going to show you how to create simple roofs in Floor Planner. There are a few pre-made roofs available to you in Floor Planner. So this is a house I have here, simple thing. I'm going to just add a double gable roof to it. Let's delete this. That was from earlier. So what you're going to want to do is go to the structurals um, and scroll down until you find roofs. Um, Mine seem to be up near the top right now, so I'm going to just drag and drop this roof there. I'm going to give it some overhang, just eyeballing it. And then when I click on it, you need to click this button here to resize it. So that looks about halfway across. So now I'm going to right click on this and say duplicate so that I have the same size roof on the other side of the house. Now if it doesn't seem to be the right size, go ahead and adjust it. And then what you're going to want to do is look at your 3D and make sure it's sloped in the right direction. And I have it on the floor. I forgot to raise it up. And they both are sloping the same direction. So we're going to rotate the one on the right. I click this and just rotate it. And now I can select both of them and raise them off the floor by a certain height. This is going to be custom to your model. Now let's go back to the 3D view. And that looks much better. Now, I like the roof to be a little steeper than that, so I'm going to select both again. Oh, you can select both at the same time to do this operation. So let's say the height is, I don't know, five feet. You may want to actually calculate what the slope would be, but I'm just showing you how to make the changes. And you can see I don't have a quite wide enough here since it's not covering my house uh, that would be something you would go in and adjust now the next thing you can do is place another structure and this roof while it's not perfect may work for covering this area of the house up so i'm going to rotate it again and now i'm going to resize it so that it stretches and meets that roof what i don't like about this is you can see that it stretches the image if you really want to, you can create, uh, oh, and I forgot to raise it as always, um, but you can, you can do a custom surface, which would be covered in a different video. And let's see how that looks. That at least gets the job done. What I really, did, obviously I have it too, sticking out too far, the overhang's too long, long. What I really don't like is that it comes into this roof here, and there's really no way to cut that. Okay, so now you're going to have to go to the next video to see how to edit this wall to fit that roof.